Hello Taurus friends and welcome back to the Immaterial Garden. Thank you so much for your likes, comments, shares, and subscribes. Don't forget to bookmark this reading as it will serve you through December. The cusp readings are already up. If you're not sure if those will serve you in any way, check the What the Bleep Will Resonate video link down below in the description box. And today is the Sagittarius live birthday reading. Whether you have signs in Sagittarius or you're dealing with the Sag or you're wondering how these energies are going to continue to develop as the sun has already moved into the sign of Sagittarius and then into Sagittarius season, okay? All right, um, that's going to be happening at 4 p.m. Pacific, so I hope you will be able to join me. Let's go ahead and get into this, my friends. We're going to get into some immaterial and love messages for this month of December. What is at the center of, sorry, what's at the center of this reading for these love, immaterial and love messages? We do have the Keeper of Vessels. You could be very well dealing with a Scorpio, possibly a Libra Scorpio Cusper, or you could be dealing with a secret love or secret feelings that you're not necessarily expressing. And it could be because maybe you don't feel like it's appropriate to say how you feel or to say what you what you want. It could also be that you are trying to prevent yourself from heartache or heartbreak because maybe you know that whatever it is that you've been wishing for or whatever it is that your heart seems to want or whoever it is you know that it's it's not meant for you or you know that it's just it's not the right time it's not the right it's not the right way okay for some of you also there could be some i'm getting ocd flare-ups so some of you could suffer from uh obsessive compulsive disorder like like clinically but I do feel like there could be something where you might need to change your medication or you might need to try a different strategy or tactic because I feel like for whatever reason that's gonna you're getting some sort of complications from that or, or disturbance from that okay all right uh, let's go ahead and take a look here in terms of the immaterial this reminds me of the the song secret by firewater I've got a secret inside of me Maybe you're going through a lot, but you're locking the best parts of yourself away. Kind of sounds like you might be in a really stressful situation for some of you. And I feel like you're trying to retain a, a part of your yourself as you are before being marked or touched by whatever this energy is. OK, uh, maybe. <laughs> Maybe it's because there's just no, maybe there's no real easy solution or there's no way that it's, I feel like you might be entangled in something, okay? All right, let's go in and take a look here. Maybe Spirit Source or God or your spirit team is going to is gonna throw you a freaking bone, okay? All right, let's go in and see here. What else do we have? We do have the Five of Swords. We also have the Eight of Swords energy, yeah, so... I feel like you've been fighting with yourself or with your own desires or you've been fighting with the fact that you do love someone but you know that they're not good for you okay could be a scorpio but also i just kind of feel like there could also be something here where you could have feelings for someone or you could be wanting to say something but you know it's going to start a world of shit. but i again i feel like it's more of this energy where even if you do want someone or something you it's like you're fighting yourself because you know that you don't want you you know part of you does part of you doesn't want them the other thing is is that there could be something where maybe you're just telling yourself this person doesn't want me maybe it's like you still have feelings for someone but they don't they don't reciprocate them so it's like you don't want to be stuck waiting around for this person or pining for someone who doesn't actually love you now, for some of you, yeah, this could be the other way around. This could be your this could be your person, the person you have in mind, or someone who who treated you in a certain way. But I feel like for for many of you, this is actually your storyline. Even though you know we don't like we don't like when they're negative all the time, you know. But sometimes they can't always be positive. That's <laughs> okay. All right, um, let's go ahead and take a look here. What do we have at the bottom? We have the world card energy. Yeah, you had, this is karmic, uh, heavy karmic entanglement. This is, um, this is something maybe that even going along with bad habits or going along with neurology, you know, like, uh, with, um, psycho, uh, 
psychological pulls or draws energetic traps. I mean, there's just a lot going on here with whoever this person is. So even if you're still in love with them, even if you still want them, I do feel like you are putting that under lock and key. It's almost like you're, <laughs> it's almost like a detoxing. I feel like you're detoxing from love. Even if the other person is not toxic, even if the other person, they're still wonderful. Although I feel like for some of you, it's been their behavior. That being said, I just feel like it's time to turn the page, all right? But maybe that's maybe you're frustrated or maybe you're annoyed. It's not as easy as it sounds. Some of you really do feel scared. You feel scared because you know that in some ways you know that you've let the Scorpio treat you bad or you've let this person treat you bad. Could have also been a secret relationship or a quiet relationship, but I feel like you know it scared you because you knew you were letting this person do things to you and you still cared about them. You still love them. All right. Um, but it's getting, it, it got bitter or, you know, now it's like it, it, things exploded and now it's like maybe it's at a standstill or you might be at a distance or no communication. But instead of coming back in, instead of allowing this energy to come back in, you're done. And, and for the sake of yourself, for the sake of this other person, possibly. OK, if you're the if you are the one who who has been hurting this person emotionally, possibly uh, I'm going to be real, possibly even physically. I feel like you actually do want to stop. You actually do want help. So you might be as hard as it is because I feel like you, you and this person could be codependent. I feel like you're blocking them out. I feel like you're blocking them. This could also be like uh, I, the one that got away or it could be like, I, I kind of, for some of you, I feel like this is your first love that maybe things did not go very well. For a long time, this person did not talk to you. I'm going to be real. This person could have not talked to you or been giving you the silent treatment. Could have possibly been for eight years, up to eight years. Five to eight years is actually what I'm getting. That being said, someone maybe there's an opportunity to break the silence on your part or maybe this person they come back but you realize you know you'd been holding on maybe secretly or quietly in your heart but you realize this is not it <laughs> i mean i feel like there's disappointment and sadness there though i mean i'm not trying to laugh or make light of it my friends because i feel like some of you are really going through some heartache or some heartbreak and the, the worst thing is, is that you you might be upset that you're you're being so impractical or that, you know, it's not realistic. So why do you keep clinging to it? It's just, you know, love is actually in the brain. All right. Um, whatever else it involves energetically or, you know, metaphorically, love is, you know, impulses in the brain, hormones and chemicals being released and in a lot of ways when you break up with someone it is like going through withdrawal when you crave someone it is like going through withdrawal love stimulates the same center of the brain or the same points of the brain that doing cocaine does okay uh, if you're interested in knowing more about that look up dr helen fisher all right let's go ahead and move forward here tell me more we do have ace of vessels energy a message uh, i'm getting stings is that Sting or the Police message in a bottle? The song, all right. Um, I feel like here, though, it's almost like you're taking that those those messages. You might be someone might be sending you messages. You might be deleting them or throwing them out or throwing them to sea, so to speak. For some of you, you might be writing messages, but maybe you're writing them to yourself to get a sense of closure. And I think that you're you're just done. I feel like you also. Let's be real, for some of you, you have new love and it's time to move forward, okay? For some of you, you could be with a with an, uh, a, another Taurus, an Aquarius, uh, possibly a, a different Scorpio, okay, or a Leo person, or this might be someone, they might be an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, just like you, but they might have their, their moon or their ascendant in one of those those fixed signs that i mentioned okay all right let's go ahead and take a look here tell me more tell me more about this uh, we do have the the six of coins energy 
Yeah, I feel like I feel like there's a new relationship or a relationship you're currently in that you are focused on, that you do love this person, you want to give to them. And maybe it was a little bit of a guilty feeling, wondering what might have happened between you and this first love or you and this person from the past that you know it's just ill-fated or there's there's just no way that it's really that that it's gonna happen and it's gonna last, okay? That being said, now that you have the opportunity to kind of reconnect with that person, I think you realize it that's wrong all right for some of you I, I i do have to be real and say you're you're holding on due to duty possibly or not wanting to look scandalous or you know not wanting to be scandalous but for many of you i feel like you you truly in your heart of hearts even though you <laughs> even though you don't like that you understand this or that you feel this way you know that it wasn't meant to last and it's not worth it's not worth getting re-entangled. It's not worth the problems, the fights, and it's also not worth crushing or or hurting this this really beautiful person that you're currently with. Taurus, I feel like the person that you're currently with, even if you're not appreciating them, although I feel like most of you do, don't don't do this person dirty. Don't stab them in the back. This person has is seriously devoted to you. Now, this person may be a little too devoted to you. They could be hella dependent or they could be like really attached to you. They could have separation anxiety or something like that. But that being said, I, I do feel like it's it's even give and take and the feelings are the same. The, the feelings are the same and reciprocated in this relationship, okay? All right, also, the person that you're currently with, it kind of feels like, since this is immaterial messages, you are being told that whoever this person is that went away, that's a fucking karmic. That's a karmic, okay? I'm <laughs> sorry. And you're like, no, nee, it's like, there are signs, there are blah, blah, blah. That's a fucking karmic. If they weren't your karmic, things would have worked out between the two of you, okay? All right, here we do have, uh, but this new person, I do feel like maybe they're not dependent. Maybe it's just like, maybe it can feel that way. Maybe because you're not used to someone actually giving a shit about you or actually caring about you or taking care of you or, you know, I mean, maybe a lot of the times you're the provider, you're the caretaker, you're the person who does all this, puts all the effort in. And now that this person is, you know, this new person is giving you their heart, don't do them dirty, okay? Not for someone who's flaky, not for someone who, you know, leaves everything to ch to chance or up in the air or goes radio silent. All right, we do have the Eight of Vessels energy. Yeah. I feel like as much as you want reconciliation or reunion with whoever this other person is, I think that you have you have the sense, you have the heart, you have the the mind to walk away from it. But I do feel like you should be honest with yourself and at least take a moment to, you know, grieve that ending. Even though you're like me, that sounds ridiculous because it's like this person was gone forever. That being said, they never really left you. Not energetically, not in the not in the most private places of your heart and mind. OK, all right, let's go ahead and see here. What's the what's the takeaway guidance here? What's the take? We have four of coins energy. This person, they could have Capricorn in their chart or this person. I, again, I kind of feel like this person that that went away. Maybe they were a Scorpio. Maybe the person that you're with now is a Capricorn or has Capricorn placements. But I just do get the energy that it's self-restraint, self-control and also taking responsibility in the situation and choosing who you're going to be with and not opening yourself up to all the could have been would have been should have been okay i feel like self-restraint is is going to serve you during this month of december in this situation especially okay let's see what do we have here we have apprentice of wands energy is sagittarius with the minor in scorpio some of you you could have specifically been with a scorpio sagittarius cusper others this is the sign of the times this is now as we are as the sun has moved into the sign of sagittarius okay all right let's go ahead and move into the next part of this reading my friends we are going to talk about your 
about material and wealth messages for this month of December, okay? Let's go ahead and see what's at the center of these material and wealth messages for our Taurus friends for the month of December. We do have the ship's energy, so there could be movement or travel. There could be there could be a visitor or you could be going to visit someone, okay? We do have the fox energy. I feel like you're about to go on some business trips related to, to work is what I'm getting. Let's go ahead and see what else we have. We have the book energy. Uh, I feel like you're going to be booking tickets or learning about these, this event or something that you're supposed to be participating in for work. You might be a representative for work or you could be doing something where you're teaching the manual. You could be doing some training, okay? Or you could be a trainer. Even if that's not your usual position, that's what you're, that's the function that you're serving on this trip. Okay, we have the stars energy. Ooh, okay, Taurus. So you are, people are noticing. You might not be the flashiest person there. Or you might, maybe you are, but I feel like for some of you, even if you're not the flashiest person at work, or even if sometimes you might not necessarily feel like you're winning there or that you're a boss, it's like everyone else recognizes that you are a boss. Okay, I feel like, um, I feel like this is uh, this is a great opportunity for you, but there could be some stress or pressure. I feel like if you are going to some sort of, if you're holding some sort of event, a meet and greet or some sort of adventure, I feel like it, I feel like people are going to show up. Maybe you were afraid no one was going to show up. I feel like it's very important to have people RSVP first, though. I feel like it's important to have people RSVP and maybe pay like uh, maybe just pay a little bit of money just to give them incentive to actually go okay all right maybe you were trying to do it for free but it, it actually would serve you to, to charge uh, but charge a reasonable price an attractive price okay to get people in yeah we have moon energy I feel like there's there's something here where this is gonna lead to uh, probably a promotion or probably gonna lead to a new position for you they might even have you move over to this team or to, to do this training full-time is what I'm getting all right we have whips energy. The thing is though, there might be a lot of travel involved. So you might be, if, if you're with a water sign, a Cancer Scorpio Pisces, I feel like you don't, they might not be happy that you need to spend all that time away from home. For some of you, I'll be real, you might be afraid that you're, the person that you're with, whether or not they're a water sign, you might be afraid that if you're away too long, that they might, they might get tempted, they might stray, or you might be, um, you might be concerned maybe this person kind of has a history of being a little bit jealous the thing is though i don't think that they react to jealousy like they don't scream they don't cry they react by like making themselves seem like they're not good enough they're mean to themselves when they feel like you might be interested in someone else the thing is though i don't even think you want anyone else i, I mean maybe again maybe from the first uh, maybe they picked up on some of that res residual energy from the immaterial and love messages but i feel like in the flesh in real life Life, this is your person and you are very fucking loyal but I do feel like sometimes there's this question of are you you know are you cheating and maybe maybe that's the thing maybe you've gotten so tired of them uh, assuming or, or thinking that you're cheating or flirting or not interested in them or something like that maybe you're starting to think like well is that because that's the way you feel because a lot of times people will you know project onto us all right let's go ahead and take a look here tell me more you could also just be working a lot of hard hours there. Uh, I mean, I'll be real, though, even if you are and you might I feel like someone's going to get pissed off because I say this. But I feel like even if you are faithful to your person, you might meet someone who tempts you, who tempts you sexually or who, who you might be, who you might have fantasies, have fantasies about is what I'm getting. I feel like this is someone that you're coming into contact, though, through business, and it's going to be in the month of December. I don't think this is someone you know already. Could be maybe this person reminds you of someone, but this is a new person, okay? We have trees energy. Yeah, I feel like... Uh, I feel like you're going to end up spending a lot of time with this person, though, and I feel like you're, you're you might end up spending more time on the road and more time traveling or working with this new person that you're tempted by than the time that you have to spend with your person that's at home, uh, especially if they're a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Okay, so that might be something to plan ahead for, or maybe you might need to decide is that the direction that you want to go. Okay.
All right, let's go ahead and take a look here and maybe talk about it with your your current person. We have the bear energy, but that being said, it's like this is a really freaking good opportunity. There is so much, so much money, so much uh so many benefits and perks and different things that can come with this. I feel like I feel like if that's the case, you might be trying to figure out a way how to have your cake and eat it too. How do I work this job and not, you know, not ruin what I have at home? It's kind of like a conflict between your personal and your private life is what I'm getting. I feel like you're actually happy at both, but both, I think it's because you've kept them separate. Those two worlds are about to collide, okay? All right, let's go ahead and take a look here. What is the uh, what's the takeaway guidance here for the material wealth money? That being said, I don't think you have any problems. <laughs> you get you have money. You're getting bonuses. You have cash. You're not going to have any problems paying your bills. Everything is really on the up and up, solid. But there's something about your material wealth that may interfere with your with your energetic or emotional life. Okay. All right. What do we have here? Yeah, we have the fish card. That being said, business is bumping and you are fucking flourishing when it comes to money. But anchor energy, there could be something where it's like you got to figure out which which part needs to be held down or which which part matters more to you. OK, there is a compromise, though, where you can both make money and have a stable relationship at home. OK, all right, my Liz, let's go ahead and move forward. We're going to get into the last part of this reading where we are going to talk about karmic messages as well as no communication. There could be some third party stuff wrapped up in this, but if that is the case, we're just going to focus on your side and what can help you in the situation to break the cycles. Sometimes the no communication messages pop up in the in the line of messages, or I might pull a, a separate line, or I might forget, okay? <clears throat> Let's go ahead. I'm just going to be real. What is at the center of these karmic or no communication messages for our Taurus friends? Whoops, we had concern and we had unexpected income. Yeah, it's almost like there's something here where your money is a blessing, but it also, you know, it brings more problems. More money, more problems is kind of what I'm getting. Oh, this looks a little blurry. Okay, I think that looks better. All right. But I do kind of get the sense here that you're also maybe wondering like, oh, crap, like there could be something affecting your taxes, your tax bracket or something like that. Maybe there's also something where I. Yeah, I feel like there's something pushing you into another tax bracket that's going to be more expensive. So in a way, it's like making money is actually in this way is kind of losing money. I feel like you might need to speak to some sort of financial advisor to get some proper planning for whatever this large sum of money that's coming in for you, okay? Now, for some of you, you might have gotten a request for a large sum of money. Some of you could have gotten a request, like um, you noticed like there was a request like for payment or something like that, or there might have been a payment where it went through and then you saw it credited back. You, I think you need to look into it. Maybe it's not your charge. Maybe it's one of your, your person's charges or your lover, your, your, you know, your spouse, your children, whatever it is. But I do feel like there, there's something that's you're like, mm, this doesn't seem right. Uh, we also have privilege lady. Yeah. So it looks like someone's been using your bank account or someone's been using your card. They've been making a lot of purchases. You might have told this person that they could buy like a couple of things or they could be buy, buy one specific thing. But it looks like now they're charging things onto your account. I feel like you're about to receive the statement. I feel like you're not happy about this. OK. At the same time, there could be an element where this person might be threatening that if you take their things, they're going to make your life miserable. They're going to make things harder harder for you or whatever. I hate to say this with the karmic, not karmic, with the privilege, the karmic lady. <sighs> Ooh, that's a Freudian slip. Okay. With the privileged lady though, this is someone who is dependent on you. This is someone who you made some sort of promises or commitment to or agreement or contract to take care of their needs. The problem is they have a lot more needs and they're a lot more expensive than you thought they were going to be. Okay. Even if you have the money, you're like, mm, this is, I feel like it's, start, it's almost like the equivalent of like, this is not, I'm not getting my money's worth or something like that. Be careful here though, because I feel like for some of you, you could be, you could be making this person, uh, you could be angry at this person, or you could be starting getting annoyed with this person. You could be starting to make them jump through hoops. At first, maybe it's just because you're like, meh, you know, it's like they could go through a little bit just to, you know, 
to show that they're they're worthy of this or something like that but i feel like it's starting to get more like hazing it's starting to get more like you're what you're asking this person to do or what you're expecting from this person for the money I, there's a problem there okay something's going something's going really wrong there I feel like you need to if that if that resonates in any way with you you need to be really careful pull back from that energy because that's that's making you into a monster it's making you into an abuser okay it, even if you don't know it right now all right I don't whatever this person does maybe this person I, I kind of get the energy though this privileged lady might even like slap you around a little I, I feel like this person I, it's not necessarily that they hurt you but I feel like they do slap at you or they, they'll like constantly like punch you or hit you I feel like it's more like um it's it, it's not about it being uh painful it's about it's just it's just the impact it's just like the the touching the sort of thing i don't know it's, it's there's something very possessive or very bratty about it okay but i feel like you're starting to feel really annoyed because of that they're getting more aggressive with you so you're getting more aggressive with your demands but then it's like you ask for more for what they're getting and then they want more money is what i'm getting okay this looks really fucking messy i don't like the feelings here yeah, you're, this is definitely a karmic entanglement. I also feel like here, <clears throat> there could be something where both of you might have... <laughs> okay, Car okay, Taurus. Uh, both of you might have done something illegal together, or both of you did something that binds you together. It's a secret that you keep. Even if it's not necessarily illegal, it could be something that could change the way your family sees you. It could be a something that makes someone someone else or friends or the public see you in a different way but i feel like whatever it is they would see both of you differently okay maybe that's what what binds you together we have despair energy also it does look like someone might be someone might have lost their job or someone might have quit their job kind of looks like whoever this privileged lady is it looks like they don't want to work no matter how they identify or present in terms of sex or gender either they don't want to work or they 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 got fired because they weren't doing they weren't doing a very good job okay now you might be stuck paying this person's bills all right maybe maybe that's where it started maybe this person used to work they used to be a legitimate partner they were attractive to you now it's like they're almost like become a freeloader I, some of you i have to say this is almost like you have someone like a live-in gigolo or a live-in prostitute basically and you don't call it that but that's basically what's happening here you're giving them things you know you're giving them things and support for sex that's what i'm getting here now you might think that there's love attached and stuff like that you might even have feelings for this person but i just feel like there's something about this this is not a it's not a healthy relationship this is like a business deal uh, we have toil and labor yeah used to be fun but now it's like you're not getting your money's worth or it's not it's not pleasant it's not fun anymore you don't i feel like it's like it's it's hard work now and you're like this is supposed to be like an affair maybe for some of you this you could have you could have left a relationship for this okay now of course this could be vice versa this could be checking in on your person and seeing how they're doing but if you're wondering did they regret leaving me yeah they freaking hella regretted it because it's like the problem is though here if that's the case they don't regret it because of the love aspect i have to be real they regret it because you were cheaper to keep that's kind of what i'm getting here or they didn't have to keep you you had a fucking job you have a job okay all right, we have thoughts energy. Yeah, but I feel like someone keeps going around and around in their head thinking, all this thinking, concern, thoughts, but no action. Maybe, again, because of whatever the, whatever they have on you or whatever you have on each other. What's, what's the takeaway guidance here for these karmic and no communication messages? We do have official person. Yeah, I feel like you regret making this person, you might have gotten married to this person or you might have, you might have put this person on some of you, uh, like deeds or put their name on some things. Whatever it is, I just feel like there are lots of regrets here, okay? I feel like, yes, it's time to, hello, sweetie. It's time to get to go on this side where the pillows are, okay? Good girl, it's a good girl. It's my good, sweet girl my good sweetie it's a good girl <laughs> sorry my kitty all right uh, i love you so much i love you i love you okay uh what was i saying okay uh yeah but i feel like i feel like someone someone regrets this okay <laughs> 
otherwise I feel like um, yeah you you need to be the official person in the situation you need to make the decision because this this privileged lady is not going away as long as there's money are you kidding me all right what do we have mature man yeah that's like the that's like the hero font energy for the deck for me yeah I feel like especially um, taking charge of the situation because you know better no one's going to change things except for you you have to be the mature person and you have to be the adult in the situation good key key oh. be gentle be gentle sometimes one of my kitties he likes to nibble on her and she doesn't like it so i try to tell him to be gentle okay uh let's go ahead and see no communication though there could be something here where there could be no communication from someone that someone that might have said they were gonna they were gonna tell tell on you or expose something or something here where there could have been someone who went away. You might have been stuck on them for quite some time, almost to the point where it started to, it starts to feel bad. It's like the the sadness or the longing or the whatever, it's stronger than the good memories is what I'm getting. I feel like you, hey, be gentle. Okay, uh, uh, they're just very, oh my gosh. <laughs> they're just very slowly play fighting. They're like, <sighs> towards each other. All right. Uh, anyway, I think I think this person is going to end up getting in contact with you, but I think you realize it's a lot. Le <laughs> I don't think that you're gonna you're gonna take the bait. I think that you you've ch you've changed, you've grown, and it might have just been way too much time. The thing is, though, let's be real. You feel good though that they actually did reach out to you. I feel like you were <laughs> in a way, Taurus. You might have been waiting for this person to reach out for you, uh, even if you weren't aware of it, but so that you could reject them. Okay. All right, my friends, that's what I have for you. Don't forget to join me later today around 4 p.m. Pacific for the live Sagittarius birthday reading. Until then, gratitude to the divine, to you, and all of creation.